Hey guys, Bryony and Andrew here. We're standing in front of the 79 series and is it finally done, Andrew? Almost, okay. pretty much. What's the big change from the last video? Finally got the canopy on. What is it? Norworld Compact Deluxe Canopy. So it's all kitted out for an off-grid setup, ready to go touring, run your fridge, keep your beers cold, use the induction cooktop, come and take a look at it and also a full walk around of the vehicle. Let's go, Andrew. Yeah, let's go. All right, guys, well, here we are. This is around the, the power side of the car. All right, so we'll start with the battery. So what we've got down here is an Invicta 200 amp Bluetooth lithium battery. We love these batteries, seven year warranty and, and fantastic battery. So basically the reason why we've gone the 200 is because we've got some quite heavy drawer appliances in here, we're running inductive cooktops, ovens, things like that and the actual mass, max discharge current of this battery will handle everything we've got to try and switch on. The way we charge the battery is over here. So to charge it, we've actually got a couple of things going on. So the basic, normal, everyday charging, we're using the Red Arc Manager 30. So the Manager 30 handles my solar panel. I've got a 150 watt solar panel on the roof here. Um, and it also handles, if you ever wanted to plug it into 240, like Caravan Park or something like that, haven't had to do that yet. And then the other thing it does is it takes the alternator current and converts that to charge it for, for while you're driving. So that's, while you're driving, I got 30 amps coming in from the solar and the alternator as standard. What we've done then is these two Red Arc BCDC 1250s. So what we can do, we can turn them on while we're driving and that gives us, an, both of them combined gives us an extra 100 amps. So that way we can get 130 amps while we're driving. The reason for that is I can charge that battery then in under two hours if it's fully discharged. Because it's an Invicta and it can handle the inrush current, it is fine to do that with and so far so good. And we've found it to be fantastic because I can just charge it straight away. The reason why, everybody asks why do you have them switching? The reason why I'm switching is because I've also got four to 600 amps of lithium in my caravan. I've got another 100 behind the back seat and I've got start. So it means that I can sort of direct the current to wherever I want to go while I'm driving. So having them as con user controllable has been a, a great feature and really allows me to get my caravan back up on short runs if it's been cloudy for a few days. So to charge all of this, what we've fitted is the rapid power 200 amp water cooled brushless alternator. These 79s are well known for being, having an unreliable alternator. They're a good alternator, but they're in a terrible spot. They're down low and they tend to suck in all the mud and dust and the, and the brushes tend to stick in them. So the reason why we've gone the 200 amp brushless water cooled is to make the vehicle reliable. So we can go through any sort of mud, any sort of dust, and the alternator is a fully sealed unit that's not cooled by air, it's cooled by coolant. And I also get the added benefit of a full 200 amps all the time while I'm driving to be shared across all my loads. So while we're driving, without switching on the BCDCs, I've got just 30 amps ticking away in my canopy to charge and run whatever's going on in there. And then if we want to, we can turn on these two DC-DCs, get another 100 on top. So this battery is charging at 130, which gives me that under two hour charge rate. Okay, now we got all that power, what to do with it? So all that's controlled by the Red Arc TVMS, and that stands for Total Vehicle Management System. So it's got a couple of different features and it does some really cool stuff. The first thing it does is monitoring. The display's over the other side, so we'll show you all of this, so bear with me. The monitoring, it will show you all the ins and outs for your battery. So it'll show you current in, current out, and percentage left. The other thing it does is it controls all your switching and that's all these wires here. So it's got 10 channels of things you can switch and they're programmable soft keys on the screen. So a lot of what you're seeing running at the moment is running through the TVMS because we've got the, I guess the keys turned on. Um, it also does a couple of different temperature sensors and we've used that for the fridge and freezer. So we've got one in each. And then it also does four water tanks. I haven't used that, it's not plugged in. It's actually turned off, but Obviously for a caravan, that's a great feature. So before we go around the other side, I will show you the inverter. So that's a 
2000 watt inverter. It gives me 240 volt all throughout the back of the canopy here and also gives me a feature where I can dump the power from that battery into my caravan when it's needed. And then also the TVMS switches the inverter on. So the inverter here is a 2000 watt inverter and basically it takes power from my 200 amp lithium battery and converts it into 240 volt. And that allows me to run my inductive cooktops and my GPOs and then I can charge all my power tools and stuff like that. So let's go around the other side and I'll show you what's going on there. So here we are over the other side. Now the TBMS we were talking about, the other half of it and what makes it so cool is what's called the Red Vision screen. So this Red Vision screen here has got a fair few features in it. The main one is its actual battery calculations. So if we look at it now, we can see I'm using 11.6 amps in my battery and that's because it's running the fridge here and it's also running the travel buddy at the moment. We've got some pies going on. So what it does is not only it shows us that, it's calculating the percentage left of the battery. So at the moment, my battery's sitting at 91% and it's working out that at this usage, my battery will run for 14 hours before it's discharged. So that, that's how good the battery is. It's literally got an oven running and a fridge, 14 hours with no power input and it'll keep going. The green light flashing on and off, that's because the sun's coming and going. We're in some dappled light here from the, from the trees. Once we move out into the sun, we'll get a full 10 amps. So we'd almost be neutral at the moment using no power if we were in the sun, but it's much nicer here in the shade. The other feature it's got is it's got all these keys. So these keys are the 10 channels we spoke about. So each button is programmed to allow a different feature to switch on, switch off. So this controls my whole canopy. What we've done as well is we've run another cable from here, an Arbus cable, from this one to a second screen in the front and the two are mimicked. So while I'm driving, I have full access to all of this and that's the beauty of these. You can daisy chain the screens off each other. Each channel has been programmed into it to be wherever we wanted it, to do whatever we wanted it to do and with whatever symbol we wanted it. So when you wire these things up, you can put different inputs to it. So we've run like a ignition input, a reverse input, a high beam input, and that then allows me to control each channel to turn on, turn off whenever another circuit is activated. So for example, if you see here, we've got down here, that's my battery link button. So I've used that to control the BCDCs we spoke about. So at the moment, there's actually a padlock on there and that's because the ignition isn't turned on. So we've set that channel to, to turn on the BCDCs when the ignitions turn on and when we activate the soft key. And that allows us full control and it also shows how each channel can be programmed specifically to suit what you want it to do, when you want it to do it, whether it's off a soft key or automatically. So for example, my fridge, it's permanently locked out. So it's just always gonna be on, no matter what buttons I press, power stays to the fridge until the battery gets to a certain percentage and then it'll turn off the fridge. So that's the 10 channels and then your 11th channel you get because it's an Arbus connection is your inverter. Turn that one on, that turns the inverter on and that gives me 240 volts throughout the canopy for, for the GPOs and the inductive cooktop and that was the beep you just heard, that was the inductive cooktop turning on. So what that also means I can do is I can run extension lead from here into my caravan and I can charge my caravan. The other features it's got is it's the Bluetooth hub. So we'll show you that at the moment. There's two apps that you can connect to this with. One is just the Red Vision app and that gives you a full replication of this screen on your phone. So you're sitting around the campfire, you can press a button, you can turn lights on and off, you can check your battery, you can see everything that's going on. Also, there's a second app, the Red Vision Configurator, and that's user controlled, so everybody's got access to that. You take a photo of a little barcode that comes up, that connects your phone to it, and that way the user can program all the channels to do whatever they want to do. So if I decided, for example, I'm not going to tow my caravan, I wanted my BCDCs to turn on all the time, I can just log in and change that to automatically come on with ignition or something like that, and that can be changed at any time through the app and we'll update on the second screen as well and in your Red Vision app, not the Configurator app.
Um, if I had the water tanks connected up to it, there'd be a second screen with water tanks. We've just got that turned off at the moment. And again, we do that through the Configurator app. Oh, and sorry, the other thing I forgot to talk about is here is my temperature sensors. So this is, at the moment, my freezer is sitting at minus five and my fridge is sitting at seven. We've had the door open a few times. We've just popped a little hole in the side of the fridge, which you can do on these Bushmans, anything below halfway. And we've got a sensor in, it, in both. So I can also see that while I'm driving. So you know that while you're driving along, you know your fridge is cold, everything's good. So we'll show some of the stuff we've actually got working in this canopy. So the first one here, the Bushman 130. So I went the 130 because it is the biggest you can get into these canopies height-wise. I'm all for an upright fridge, even though they do use a bit more power and you do have to stack them. I love the fact that you can just open the door and away you go. You are, everything's there, easy to use and a lot more accessible. You do really need to think about how you're packing it if you're gonna go on an off-road, but Tupperware containers, a bit of smart stacking and I really haven't had a problem kind of thing. Um, the next thing we've got, I guess, is the TV. Who doesn't need a TV? So that is honestly just a cheapy Harvey Norman one you buy a 12 volt TV. It's also got a built-in DVD player and you can plug in with, so I can plug my phone into it and I can stream Netflix for the kids wherever I am. And it's been a bit of a, bit of a lifesaver some nights, to be honest. All right, so down here, we've got a Breville 2100 watt indu inductive cooktop. And this thing has been great. Obviously now I need no gas to cook. It's fully windproof. Any night, day, you don't have to wait for a heat up and it cools down incredibly fast. So once you finish with it, just slide it away, off it goes. Whenever we're camping, you, everybody always seems to show up to me with their coffee mugs, waiting for me to boil the water because it is so quick. And um, yeah, this thing really has been the best thing I've installed of everything. This is what I can recommend. We've done another video on what you need to run an inductive cooktop on your vehicle, which you can check out here. And it's well worth your watching because this one, for 90 bucks from Harvey Norman, has been the best thing I've put in the canopy. Now, internal lighting that's controlled by my hardcore one meter tricolor lights. So we've got a switch going on here if I can get it right, and that brings the lights on. They do three colors. So we've got just basically a bright white, a warm white, and then the insect orange. So the orange is for nighttime, doesn't attract mosquitoes, insects anywhere as bad as the white light. And the other thing about them is they're fully controllable, dimmable. So we'll dim them down and we'll bring them back up. That's on the warm setting and it gets a warm setting by bringing on the orange slightly as well. We've got four of them throughout the canopy, two on this side, so one here, one just back, and then two on the other side, both that are controlled by a switch on either side, so half and half. Pretty much it for here. We'll go around the other side. You feeling hungry? All right, while we've been filming this, we've had my Travel Buddy running. So this is the Travel Buddy 12 volt marine version, um, genuine Travel Buddy, so only a genuine one. And inside, we've got the Somerville Metalworks deep tray, and I've also done the Somerville Metalworks insulation door. So in here, we've got a couple of pies, a couple of sausage rolls for the team. And um, yeah, it's been cooking away. They've probably got another half hour to go, and the boys will be very happy once they're ready. So this has been great. While we've been traveling, we've done roast chickens, we've done lamb shanks, we've done all sorts of things. Because we've got that big Somerville Metalworks tray, we can throw a chicken in a bag with some veggies all in the tray, take a big trip when you get there, especially if you're leaving around lunch and you're getting somewhere on dinner time, roast chicken ready to go. And then I guess the last thing to show you is um, being an auto electrician, can't go anywhere without my tools. Normally I've got a stack a mile high, but we took them out for the video. But this is Milwaukee Packout. So um, all it is is these containers and they all just lock in. So I've started using them for everything, to be honest. I've got, um, I've got one set up for fishing, um, all sorts of things, but, and also a cutlery one. I've got a cutlery one going, but mate, they were really designed for tools. So you can get all different sizes. I've also got larger ones. But basically, as you want to move stuff around, you can just click, unclick, and they go in. You get these pack out trays. I've just screwed them down, and there's also a trolley and so on that goes with it. 
but I've found it a really good way to secure my tools and all my other stuff in the vehicle is just to have some of these bases down, clip them in and off we go. And yeah, I, I rate them really highly. Um, another new addition we've fitted since the last video is a self I go. I've got that behind the back seat, so come have a look at that. Okay, so another addition we've got going on is back here, hang on, I'll flip my seat, is a self I go. Now we've installed that back here and it actually runs off this second lithium battery. And what that is, is a full mobile phone signal booster. So it takes a signal from, with a large aerial on the front and boosts it up through the box to a signal, to, through a smaller antenna that's hidden away in here. And that actually just gives me full cellular coverage wherever I am, as long as I can get one bar of 3G. Okay, so from here, we'll show you our new Bushman XT Max 270 degree awning. All right, so up here, my Bush Company XT Max 270 degree awning. So it's a little bit high, but we'll work with that. Basically, unfold these. It all falls out. They're my pegs, they sit there. And then we just walk it out. All right, so that's all the cool stuff we've done in the canopy. If you want to check out the rest of the build videos on my car, they're here, and YouTube reckons you should watch this down here.